Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on Brave New Hollywood. My guest today is actor, friend of Brave New Hollywood, Chad Michael Collins. Chad, how are you? I'm great. And I just, let me just clarify, I'm not just a friend, I'm a big fan of you guys because you guys have always been so great and supportive to me. So it's nice to be chatting with you again. That's very sweet. Thank you so much. Chad, before anything, I wanted to ask you about uh, what life is like for an actor in, uh, in lockdown. <laughs> um, well, I, strangely enough, I've been busier than ever. And, you know, I've, I've always been an actor that kind of, you know, I treat my career like a business. So you're always, you know, looking for those possibilities, looking for the next project to hop on. So I've been really keeping myself busy. Um, the one thing that is missing is um, auditions and filming. So uh, <laughs> it's not a sustainable model, as you know, but it isn't for anyone right now, really. So, right. um, you know, we're just we're just kind of all in this place of waiting and seeing. And in the meantime, I'm just, um, you know, there's a TV film I'm, I'm trying to develop and, a, and a, a film that I'm trying to develop and push through the doors. And, you know, I get to, to spend more time talking to awesome friends like you about the, the, the projects I do have coming up. Very nice to hear, man. Thank you so much. Let's uh, start talking about uh, assa uh, Sniper sa Assassins and uh, what went into making this film? What is this film about? Uh, this is a classic frame-up job film. Um, I'm, I'm framed for the murder of a, uh, a South American diplomat. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, I have to go on the run to clear my name, where I link up with Pops and uncover kind of a bigger conspiracy. You know, I'm being tailed and chased by the people who want to um, tie up loose ends and finish the job, me. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of avoiding getting sniped by them while also trying to clear my name with the, the good folk at the government. And so I circle back around with uh, Pops, Tom Berenger, uh, Thomas Beckett, and um, find him kind of out in his remote cabin and uh, help him uh, well, he helps me rather to to kind of finish up all that monkey business, and of course, it leads to a big climactic ending. Dad, I've been set up. Knock, knock. Now, if you're guilty, it's going to get really ugly. But if you're innocent, whoever did this is going to want to tie up loose ends. That's not so good either. Hey, something's wrong. <sighs> I promise you, I will get to the bottom of this. Go, 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 go! Beckett's transport has been attacked. His father. Thomas Beckett is now a priority. It seems his son isn't working alone. Okay, everyone, now let's go. We gotta move. Sir, step away from the vehicle. We got company. Check that. It's locked and loaded. Target in sight. Thomas Beckett confirmed. If she is a shooter that framed me, we have to take her alive. Chad, what are the challenges of making these uh, sniper movies? Uh, the challenges probably, um, you know, they're on the they're on the lower budget end of things. You know, we don't have Michael Bay budgets to go and blow up half a city and stuff like that. So that's always an inherent challenge but i think it also that lends itself to really building a family each and every time we were all pulling together working with what we have to uh to get the most out of our days and our weeks and our and our you know typically around a month um those are always tough to do you know it's an action movie and action setups and fight choreography they take a lot of time and for this one in particular um the director is named Kari andrews who's a wonderful canadian director and a super talented comic book artist who's drawn covers and written stories for marvel yeah. um he really leaned into the action we had an amazing stunt coordinator fight courier, uh, choreographer named brett chan who's worked on everything for the marvel universe to the arrowverse and everything in between and when i was not on set working we were in the dojo doing hours and hours and hours of fight choreography prep so I think fans will be really impressed. Obviously, we're going to have all the pew-pew shootouts and stuff like that. It is a sniper movie after all. But we really, top to bottom, filled in all the gaps with a lot of hand-to-hand -hand stuff and really, really exciting action sequences in that way. So I'm kind of really excited for people to, to see this one. 
that sounds very exciting. Uh, I haven't seen the film, uh, but the trailer looks really bigger and, you know, full of action and everything. Uh, since you mentioned uh, working uh, hand to hand combat and, you know, the action scenes, how much of your own stunts uh, do you do? Uh, as much as they'll let me. And I find that they'll let me. <laughs> and sometimes that's a regrettable decision. But I, I love it. And I know, I know that with filmmaking, the more the actor can do, the easier it is on the editor, the better it looks in the final product. Uh, and I enjoy it. I honestly do. You know, you get your share of scrapes and bumps and bruises and whatever. But you always get to work with awesome stunt people who make you look amazing, yeah. uh, no matter what. So I, I love, you know, that part of the job. I love the physicality of it. I try to do as much as possible. Um, I did have a really wonderful um, stunt double named Matthew Reamer who stepped in there and you know delivered a lot of really sexy high kicks and stuff like that that I just can't do. Uh, and he was fantastic, but I, I definitely try and uh, do as much as I can there because I think it just lends to the authenticity. And and you know Brandon Brandon Beckett is a great shooter, but maybe he's not the best fighter, so he get you know he gets his lumps for sure. So that's. Um, always a part of the the equation that I like to bring to the table that it's like he's not invincible uh he will get beat up quite a bit and I I'll be honest I get beat up quite a bit in this movie so <laughs> it was fun good. that's always good for the fans or the audience yeah. to see uh, and also in this one uh, when you're up against a female assassin who is pretty crafty herself correct yes yeah we're really excited about that they um the female lead in our film her name is Sayaka Akimoto she's a Japanese pop star and an actress, uh, J-pop uh, performer over there. She was fantastic. She comes in to this movie as the, um, you know, the, the titular assassin in Assassin's End. And so we, um, we had a great time working together and I think she absolutely crushed it. And she just looked so, so female anti-hero badass in this with the costumes they gave her and the makeup and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of the fight scenes between us were a blast to do. And she was a totally game and willing partner, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, I also know that you're pretty proactive about your career. Uh, what else do you have in the hopper that you can uh, tell us about? I, the last couple of years, I've, I've, I've really tried to spend some time um, developing my own projects. Um, I wanted to start moving into producing and just learn filmmaking from start to finish. I wanted to learn it from you know, kind of conception to execution and release. And I figured the best way to do that is to um, greedily put myself in some sort of lead role on some project that I love and then help line up the, 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 you know, the people and the team to, to push it across the finish line. So I've got a wonderful sci-fi action film out there right now um, that people are taking a look at in a, in a television series and development as well. So I'm always very, very excited to put more work and love and energy into those things because I think that, that you know, I mean, they're perfect for me. Sci-fi action, that's a total throwback to the 80s. And then, you know, the, the TV show is geared around werewolves and the supernatural. So it's like, I mean, yeah, if I'm going to produce it, your, it's yeah. going to look like that. Right? You're home with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Chad Michael Collins, thank you so much for joining me for this interview. I'll see you soon. Good to see you again. Let's get to work. sending my kid in as bait you better believe i'll be the one taking that shot